Hey everyone, quick video here talking a bit about winter survival and what to expect. Winter doesn't really last that long. It's um, December, January, and a bit of February. There, this is February 16th and uh, the snow has been disappearing quite a bit and it's raining a bit more, but uh, throughout the winter it does rain here and there, so you don't have to worry too much about um, stockpiling water. I would say you could probably get by for all your washing and uh, drinking needs with probably about six barrels of the large ones. And um, yeah, your main concern is going to be keeping your weight up. So if you find butter, ketchup, oil, peanut butter, you hold on to those and use those when your weight's going down. So there are people who do trap, which uh, I don't know, it, I've tried it and I've tried the boxes in the woods and uh, it seems like there's so much work and so little payoff. And same with fishing, didn't have much success, maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. But anyway, my whole solution was just growing tons of potatoes. Well, not a ton, but uh, I do three rows or three plots per row and do a space in between each one. I've never had a problem with disease, so um, not an issue there. Um, being outside, they do get covered with snow and some crops do okay. I've had some potatoes die, but my strawberries were surviving, so really all I grew was a bit of strawberries just to keep my uh, unhappiness uh, in check a little bit. And then uh, the potatoes, they last like 28 days and they take 26 days to grow so I was just growing them every like 15 days so on the first and then on the 15th I would plant and then you know just continue on kind of crop rotation so yeah that worked out pretty good just eating lots of potatoes and butter and oil and um, yeah, I haven't had to deal with too much else. Um, your fuel issues, you can uh, either build a campfire, which I found used a lot of wood. It wasn't too efficient for me anyway. And then um, there are propane stoves, which work, but uh, use up a lot of propane and take some time. Um, and then uh, using gas, I found, was probably the easiest thing to do. So literally, I think I filled up my, um, my generator once and never had to worry about uh, using too much gas. And then there's antique wood stoves, which you can use as well, or uh, fireplaces in houses, which I've used before, but uh, yeah, I only do that if I have lots of scrap wood. Otherwise, I'll just stick with gas. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as um, you, you don't need to really worry about staying warm uh, other than the clothes that you wear. And um, yeah, even if you're outside, it's not too bad. So yeah. Uh, not too much information other than that. It's, uh, it's all good. Just grow potatoes, uh, build yourself about six barrels, and, um, yeah, you should be alright. So, anyway, that's all I had to say about that. There wasn't much else. I kind of have overkill with the water here. I wish I never built that much. It's kind of ridiculous, but, uh, you know, I thought I would be better safe than sorry. So, anyway, didn't have much else to talk about. You guys, thanks for watching. Take care.